In this video, I'm going to break down the top three heart rate monitors that we use with our combat athletes to help them dominate with relentless cardio. If you're an active amateur or pro, you dream of stepping in the ring one day, or you just love training, but you struggle with cardio, then this is the video for you. What's going on? It's Coach Adam from Counter-Strike, where fight science is made simple. We teach combat athletes how to develop relentless cardio, build unbreakable strength, and eat like a pro so they can dominate on the mats or in the cage. If you've been training for any amount of time, then you understand how crucial cardio is to be successful in combat sports. But unfortunately, I see a lot of combat athletes approach their cardio all wrong. They do a ton of road work, too much skill training, maybe some random sprints. They work really hard, but they still end up gassing out when they're sparring, hitting the pads, or even when they're in a fight. The number one thing that's usually missing in their training is the use of heart rate data. The reality is that doing any kind of cardio without a heart rate monitor, without heart rate data, it's kind of like lifting weights without knowing how much weight is on the bar. It's silly, it's random, you're probably not gonna get the results you're looking for, and there's a good chance that you're gonna get injured. And I found with the amateur and pro fighters that we work with on our fight team, by incorporating heart rate based conditioning into their training, their cardio massively evolves in just a matter of weeks. The very first step to getting data driven with heart rate based conditioning is to collect the data. And that's where the heart rate monitor comes into play. This is the tool that we use to collect our data so we know where our biggest strengths and weaknesses are and what we need to really focus on to make the biggest improvements in our fight cardio. There are a lot of options out there and I know it can be a little bit confusing and intimidating. So that's why today I'm breaking down the top three heart rate monitors that we use with our fight team athletes. And make sure you stick around to the very end of the video because I'm going to be sharing the fastest way you can level up your fight cardio no matter which heart rate monitor you choose. Let's get it. This is actually the heart rate monitor that I recommend for most athletes when they join our fight team is the Polar H10. It's a chest strap monitor. It goes right around your chest like this. This is the device. It clips right into the strap here. And what's really cool about it is that it uses electrodes here to measure the electric current that your heart gives out. So out of all of the heart rate monitors that we're going to talk about today, the Polar H10 is the most accurate monitor you can use for your conditioning training. What's really cool about it, it's super compact. You can travel with it anywhere. The app is very straightforward. It gives you a nice little colored graph of the different zones that your heart rate is in. So you know exactly where you need to be training, what range, what zone you need to be training in. So you have the most accuracy in your conditioning. What's also cool about the Polar is that it tracks your heart rate data in real time. And because it's on your chest, it's out of the way. So you can wear it in conditioning. You can wear it in skill training. No problem. A couple cons that come with the Polar H10. It's not an all day wearable. So it's really just good for tracking your exercise heart rate. We can't use it for tracking things like sleep or heart rate variability or even your resting heart rate. Also, the batteries die sometimes and you got to change the batteries out but they're little c batteries it's super easy and honestly those are really the only downsides from it i love the polar h10 it's super affordable it's only around 80 to 90 dollars very accurate it gives you everything that you need there's not a lot of confusion when it comes to it so if you're just concerned about improving your cardio and recovery isn't something that you struggle with or maybe it's not a big deal for you or maybe you have a smaller budget then the polar h10 is definitely the heart rate monitor that you're going to want to go with the second heart rate monitor that i recommend for combat athletes is the whoop strap the whoop is really cool this little guy it, it's a green light monitor so it uses green light to measure the blood flow and that's how it calculates your heart rate what's really cool about the whoop is that you can wear it all day long. It's a 24 seven wearable. When you're wearing it on your wrist, it's a wrist strap. You just take the charger, it snaps right on and you can literally charge it while it's on your body. There's also a lot of different garments that you can use with the whoop. So for example, I have a bicep band with a nice padding over it. So when I kickbox or I grapple, I wear it right over my bicep. The whoop strap goes right in there and it's protected. I can do all of my combat training without worrying about my monitor getting broken, getting in the way or just getting messed up. What's also really cool is that because you wear it all day long, it's great for recovery. It gives you really accurate reports of what your resting heart rate, your heart rate variability, your sleep is like. So you don't just see how hard you're training. You also get an idea of how hard you're recovering, which we know is so important. Just like the Polar, it shows your exercising heart rate in real time 
But one downside is that the Whoop isn't always the most accurate. It uses green light and it also uses a gyroscope, so motion, to measure your heart rate and your strain. So sometimes the heart rate can be a little bit lower than we're typically working in. Sometimes it gets disconnected. It's just not going to be as accurate as the Polar because it's not reading the direct electrical current of your heart but the heart rates that it does put out are fairly accurate. I recommend the Whoop for athletes that are balling at a little bit higher of a budget. It goes anywhere from like $200 to $300, and it has a subscription of about $30 a month that comes attached to it. So there is a little bit more of a financial investment that comes with the Whoop. But if you want to have the full package of a recovery tracker, or heart rate tracker, or training tracker, there's a cool journal involved with it, the Whoop is a great option. We're actually a coaching partner with Whoop, so all of our athletes that use the whoop strap, I can see all of their training heart rates, all of their recovery, all of their sleep. So it allows me to coach our fight team athletes using data way more efficiently. So if you're an athlete that has a little bit more of a budget and you're interested in other forms of data tracking other than just your exercising heart rate, then the whoop is definitely something that you want to check out. And the third and final heart rate monitor that we're going to talk about today is the Aura Ring. The Aura Ring is a really sweet wearable that it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a ring. It's really easy to wear. Like you can grapple with it and it doesn't really get in the way too much. You can wrap your hands in it and it's fine when you're hitting the pads or when you're sparring. It uses the same kind of technology as the Whoop. It uses that green light technology, but it measures the blood flow in your finger rather than on your wrist. Where the Aura Ring differs from the Polar and from the whoop is that it doesn't relay your heart rate data in real time. There is not live heart rate tracking. So you can wear the Aura Ring when you train or when you condition, but you have to look at and assess your heart rates post-training. So let's say you're doing a conditioning session. It's not going to relay your heart rate in real time. So you have to do the session and then see where your heart rates lie. So it makes it a little bit difficult to do heart rate conditioning when we're targeting specific heart rate zones. It can be great for collecting data when we train, but where the whoop really shines is on the sleep and the recovery side of things. In my opinion, it's the best sleep tracker on the market. It gives you really accurate representations of what your resting heart rate, your heart rate variability are, and just your overall quality of sleep. And it's low profile, it's out of the way, it's a nice ring, it looks good, it's stylish. You're not wearing a clunky fitness tracker on your wrist or on your bicep. As far as the investment is concerned, just like the Whoop, it's around $200 up front. The subscription's a little bit less, it's only $6 a month. So it's a little bit more affordable than the Whoop, but one of the biggest downsides, like I said, is that live heart rate tracking. If you're really trying to level up your cardio and this probably isn't the best option to use for that but like I said I love it for my sleep and I love to use it as a recovery tracker so there you have it those are my three top heart rate monitors for combat athletes now you might be asking yourself or you might be asking me coach which heart rate monitor is the best which one should I use honestly I'm a fan of using all three of them I personally use all of them I use the polar for my conditioning training I wear the whoop when I do my skill training and I use the aura ring for my sleep and my recovery I understand everybody has varying budgets and that's totally cool if you have a lower budget or you just want the most accurate heart rate monitor for your conditioning then the polar is the way to go. If you want the best bang for your buck to incorporate conditioning, training, heart rate monitoring, sleep, recovery, all of that, then the Whoop is the way to go. If you're just concerned with your recovery and your sleep, then I would go the Aura Ring route. But if you could do a combination of like the Aura Ring and a Polar or the Whoop and the Polar, that's probably going to be the highest level performance package for you. I hope you're digging the video so far. If you are digging it, make sure you hit the like button and leave a comment down below. What else do you want to learn about conditioning, strength, nutrition for combat sports. But like I told you in the beginning of the video, I have a special bonus for you. I want to talk about the fastest way that you can level up your cardio, no matter which heart rate monitor you use. So if you have the Polar, if you have the Whoop, if you have the Aura Ring, maybe you have another brand heart rate monitor, that's totally cool. This bonus is going to level up your cardio super, super quick. And these are the three steps to immediately start leveling up your cardio with heart rate data. It's pretty simple. They go collect, assess, and act. So collect, very simple. We're just going to collect data. We're going to wear our heart rate monitor and we're going to train. That's it. Nothing special. Wear your heart rate monitor, train. Then we're going to assess. 
After we train, we're going to sit down and we're going to look at that data and we're going to analyze it. Okay, when did I gas out in training? What was I doing? Was I sparring? Was I wrestling? Was I hitting the pads? What did that feel like? Was it my lungs? Was it my arms? Was it my legs that were gassing out? What were my heart rate ranges when I was gassing out? Maybe you were sparring, you felt like your lungs were burning, and you see, okay, in the middle of the second round, my heart rate got up to 180 beats per minute. That's great. This shows when you're weakest. Now, once we collect the data, we assess the data, now we're able to act. We can put a plan in place to start turning that weakness into a strength. So if I know when I spar and my heart rate gets to 180 beats per minute, I start to gas out. I can pick a conditioning workout or exercise that mimics the energy demands of sparring. I can push myself to that heart rate range around 180 beats per minute, and then I can maintain it there for the amount of time that I spar. By doing this, by training this way, by conditioning this way, I am targeting the exact heart rate range where I'm weak. This means I'm going to improve, I'm going to get better there, and it's the fact this way that I can improve my cardio in the areas that I gas out the most. That's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in specific workouts that we use with our amateur and pro fighters on our fight team to help them build relentless cardio, you can check that out by clicking somewhere up there. And until next time, I'll catch you later.